we have all accomplished that abnormal peculiarity where we wind up awakening in the night consistently, at the very same time every evening. We wind up pulled from rest and, in the cloudiness of our waking selves rebooting, went after the clock or our telephone to actually look at the time. Also, with our cerebrums working at low limit, we see that recognizable time and revile our bodies for demanding that we lose rest, similarly, consistently. That is sufficiently normal. However, things like that don't generally occur for reasons unknown. Obviously, there might be a direct clarification. It very well may be that at precisely the time you awaken every evening, there is some sort of aggravation that you don't really hear however wakes you regardless, giving the presence of an unprompted interference of rest. In any case, when there is no clarification, we keep on searching for a clarification. Contingent upon what time you routinely wake during the evening, there likely could be an otherworldly clarification. At the point when the veil is thinnest it isn't unexpected information in many societies that 4 a.m. is the time at which the limits that different the actual domain from the profound domain are at their most vulnerable. Any individual who routinely strolls in the pre-sunrise hours will let you know that there is a creepiness to the world around then. They will likewise let you know that they feel and think distinctively around then. For some scholars, writers and craftsmen, this nature of the pre-first light hours is the thing that pulls them outside at an hour, when most of us would much prefer be sleeping. This is on the grounds that the actual domain is our essential experience during the remainder of the day. It goes about as a cloak, shielding our underdeveloped personalities from the grandness of the profound domain. Also, at 4 a.m., the cover is at its most slender. Severe shock so when we are pulled from rest at 4 a.m. at the time the cloak is most slender all things considered, this is no happenstance. We are getting a message from the otherworldly domain. It is right now that our soul guides convey the main messages, the ones generally key to our profound excursion. They get us when the shroud is most slender, so they have the most lucidity in association, and for another, substantially more human explanation. At the point when we are pulled from rest, our brains are changing once again into the actual domain where we reside. We are delivered, clearly, idiotic. In other words, we do not have the bustling contemplations that the day brings, and are a whole lot more open to messages from our soul guides. So how would it be advisable for us to respond if we wind up pulled from rest at 4 a.m. each night? Tune in. Try not to revile your soul guides for waking you. Acknowledge the message, record it, ensure you have the entire message down on paper, so you can interpret it toward the beginning of the day. Then, at that point, with an expression of thanks and contemplations of appreciation for the love and direction of your soul guides, float once again into rest. Otherworldly importance for awakening at 4 a.m., the above implications might work well for you, in any case, there are other profound implications why you may get up at 4 a.m., and one of these might be the otherworldly, implying that impacts you, getting up at 4 a.m. profound importance is an update that you have been put here on earth with specific activities, and no one but you can do them, not any other individual. Awakening in the evening, and feeling frail against life's challenges, are ways that Earth assists us with understanding our motivation as otherworldly creatures in actual bodies. To focus yourself in the event that you are not profoundly focused, you are absent. In case you are absent, getting up at 4 a.m. is a method for advising you that something is absent in your life. So getting up at 4 a.m. and monitoring it is awakening in a genuine way with a need to keep moving to zero in on living from the heart, and remaining associated with widespread energy stream. It can likewise imply that you are overpowered and focused. Getting up at 4 a.m. is a method for telling you that you have work to do in your cognizant existence, or maybe there are a few things that should be brought into balance. 
Being all around rested may be great, however awakening in a genuine way adjusted feels vastly improved. To help other people in the event that you don't know what your motivation in life is, helping other people may be one way for you. Helping other people can likewise work on our connections and life overall. Prior to sleep time, ponder what is currently in your life that was not there a year prior or considerably recently. What did you realize today? How do the things you learned cause you to feel? How would they apply to your work, your connections, your life? What could you have done any other way to make today more pleasant? Could you have done more to help some working? At home? Could you have helped an individual deprived on the road today? Would that activity cause you to have a decent outlook on yourself? Assuming helping other people is something that intrigues you, here's certain things that may help you. Start to check out others and see what is deficient in them that you can provide for them. Contemplate how they advantage from your activities, or in actions with regards to their life, work, connections, and so forth. Helping other people isn't generally about cash. It is the thing that you can give from your heart to help another that could possibly cost anything. There are ways you can help other people without actually being there with them by utilizing the internet as one method of helping other people. Doing kind things for other people will cause you to have a decent outlook on yourself and for the individual you are helping too. It might begin with the easily overlooked details, however those easily overlooked details can develop into a lot greater thoughtful gestures, that will help both you and one more decidedly. You are willfully ignorant one reason why you may get up at 4 am, is that you are willfully ignorant with regards to something. You won't acknowledge and recognize some circumstance, individual, or even yourself. You can't acknowledge it and let go of it. The motivation behind why you get up at 4 am is on the grounds that your psyche mind needs you to confront the circumstance and manage it. You are in a progress at the point when you persistently get up at 4 am for a considerable length of time, then, at that point, there is plausible that you are going through some progress throughout everyday life. This progress might be one of a positive or negative nature. You contemplate the past different occasions, you may get up at 4 am on the grounds that you are pondering the past. You can't relinquish it and push ahead. The issue is that you continue to harp on what occurred. It continues to play again and again in your mind, and you are powerless however continue to consider it. These considerations about the past continue intensifying making it unimaginable for you to nod off once more. You have a feeling of remorse we as a whole have that one thing that we would rather not concede and assume liability for. We may have harmed somebody or perhaps accomplished something terrible however we would rather not assume the fault. At last, the present circumstance turns into a weight on us to such an extent that when you get up at 4 am, you begin accusing yourself. You get forlorn at 4 am, we would not reject that we as a whole encounter forlornness in our lives. At the point when you get up at 4 am, you are likely desolate and contemplating the individual or circumstance that caused you to have this impression. You wish you can be with them yet it appears to be a pie in the sky thought in light of the fact that at 4 am, they are sleeping soundly while you are conscious. This depression causes you to feel much more forlorn and dismal. You fear what's to come at the point when we awaken in the evening, it is on the grounds that we are contemplating some unpleasant circumstances or expectations that anticipate us soon new employee screenings, cut-off times, introductions, and such. You need to escape from your circumstance on occasion, we as a whole wish that we could escape from our lives, due to the pressure and strain that we face. You need to flee and head off to where you can be liberated from every one of the issues and obligations. At the point when this inclination hits you, it is only normal for you to begin pondering how decent it would be on the off chance that you could flee and get away from your life. 
you get an innovative blasted late around evening time, it isn't exceptional for specialists, essayists, and other imaginative individuals to get up at 4am, to have the option to go about their best responsibilities. In the event that you are one of them, awakening in the night would be typical for you, as your psyche works on whatever undertaking or thought you are chipping away at. You have a dread of the dull it is exceptionally normal for individuals to fear the dim, since there are so many things that you can't see. Around evening time, your concerns as a whole and fears appear to be greater and more awful on the grounds that they occur in obscurity. You have a profound arousing now and then, you get up at 4 a.m. on the grounds that you had a certifiable profound encounter or disclosure. Possibly, a profound was being or substance that conversed with you, and it has changed your perspective. Assuming this occurs, try not to be frightened in light of the fact that this is the call from above, letting you know that there is something greater hanging tight for you throughout everyday life. Dot end all in all, we can say that getting up at 4 a.m. isn't awful, as long as you utilize this early morning time for your potential benefit. If you end up awakening in the evening and heading to sleep doesn't work, then, at that point, possibly it's time for you to confront a person or thing, it very well may be an issue that you really want to tackle or perhaps a circumstance that you are fleeing from. There is consistently a valid justification why things occur so assuming this occurs, utilize this chance to roll out certain improvements in your day-to-day -day existence.